Did you know that the Academy of Management is governed by a board with 14 voting members? As a not-for-profit corporation, the Academy of Management has a board to make sure we focus on strategy, setting goals, overseeing existing and new initiatives, and managing risks. I am Herman Aguinis from the George Washington University, and I have the honor and the privilege of serving as your Academy of Management president. In this installment of the President's Corner, we're going to take a look under the hood of the Board of Governors. Who are these people? What do they do? I have to be completely honest with you. I did not have clear answers to these questions before I became a member of the board myself. To give you an idea of how the board works and what are the values that guide everything we do, let me tell you how we begin each of our meetings. We take turns and read our norms out loud. So in alphabetical order, a board member reads our first norm. We encourage everyone to express their ideas. Then a second board member reads the second norm. We listen to everyone's ideas, even if we do not agree. Then other board members continue to read the rest of the norms. We criticize ideas, not people. We restate others' ideas and feelings to demonstrate that we understand them. We change our minds when the evidence warrants it. We work to find solutions that are mutually beneficial. We remember we are all in this together. We appreciate each other's abilities and contributions. And the last norm, we follow the golden rule of teamwork. We act towards others as we want them to act to us. For example, if you want them to listen to us, we then listen to them. Then after we read all the norms, we move on to specific tasks. And these are centered around the Academy of Management committees and initiatives. These tasks are pretty much all of the services that we enjoy as Academy members. For example, journal operations and initiatives. An example of a board task is a recruitment and selection of new editors for all of our journals. This involves quite a bit of work, I have to admit, because we have seven journals and each editor serves for three years. Another example of what the board is doing right now and what we always do, relations with and between our 26 divisions and interest groups. The board works on reviewing strategic goals and also operations and the possible creation of new digs. One more example, the board also works on annual meetings and specialized conferences. This is a big task now, because as you know, we have transitioned from exclusively in-person to exclusively online, and in August, 2022, to a hybrid format for our annual meeting. As I said, the board includes 14 voting members. These are five officers who serve five years, and nine reps at large who each serve three-year terms. The five officers, officers on the, are on the leadership track, just like we do it at the division level. Each one serves as first PDW chair elect, PDW chair, program chair, president, and then president elect. But rather than serving on these five different roles for a particular division, we do this for the entire academy of management. I am now in my fourth year of this rotation, serving as president. Next year, I will serve as past president. Board members bring diverse experiences and perspectives, and this diversity makes us strong and help us be innovative and open to new opportunities about how we can serve academy members better. I really enjoy serving on the board because it includes a very committed, very creative, and I also have to say, fun group of people. For example, Amy Hillman is now serving as president-elect. She's right behind me in the five-year rotation. Amy? Thanks, Herman. Our focus has been on operational sustainability, both through our work as an executive committee and particularly within the finance subcommittee. That means we must closely consider our operating budget to maintain our relevant and important member benefits, as well as positioning ourselves for a changing future landscape. 
I've served in other roles outside of the academy, most recently Dean, where I led decision making to ensure that our programs were financially sound and set up for long term success. That role is really has really served me well during my tenure with the board. For me, the financial stewardship role with the board's executive committee and the work of the finance subcommittee is so important and meaningful. It's really what we're here for. We're tackling the big picture questions and assessing initiatives with the goal of ensuring that the Academy of Management is supported and able to address our critical priorities head on. Back to you, Herman. Thank you, Amy. I told you the board includes a fantastic group of people. I have to confess that I've never ever been a fan of long and boring faculty meetings in which not a lot happens or gets done. But as former Academy of Management President Denise Rousseau said to me a few years ago, the Board of Governors meetings are the best faculty meetings in the world. So please consider nominating yourself or one of your colleagues to serve on the board in the future. I promise you, it will be an experience of a lifetime and you will not regret it. In this President's Corner series, I will continue to share updates and also seek your input on various initiatives. I very much look forward to our ongoing shared journey. The sky's the limit. Until next time.